Okay, the game started. We are in now. We're in. Okay, good. So, Fairy Peak playing for France, and then FC playing for Canada. We do see the Zapdos Galar, which is typically Choice Banded. It might struggle versus um, Zapdos, right? Kind of like a counter team. Not counter team, but Zapdos ironically counters Zapdos Galar. Dragapult looks good again. Weavile looks good too, right? If you can chip down the Mel Metal, then Weavile looks good. Toxapex? We haven't seen a Toxapex all series, but now we finally see one. Toxapex can counter Volcanion to an extent. Toxapex definitely is a Weavile counter, though. We see the Dragapult lead right off the bat into Zapdos here. Probably it can just throw off a Shadow Ball, right? There's nothing stopping the Shadow Ball, right? Nothing really stopping Shadow Ball. Zapdos can Hurricane, maybe, but... It might even Toxic or Discharge, but... I feel like Shadow Ball is definitely a good play here, right? Volcanion can do well, actually, you're right. 56, okay. Roof off the damage. But I'm not sure that's the winning play, right? It's good to scout out damage. Is it, you know, timid? Is it modest, right? Good to scout damage out. But now what do you do? You still have to figure out how do you solve the Dragapult issue. Yeah, I should close predictions. Let me fix that. Okay, now Weavile switches in. 37 only. And without Stealth Rock, it's pretty much fine. The only problem is that Toxapex basically completely counters Weavile. That's the main problem. That Toxapex counters Weavile. Goes to Pharaoh. It is Choice Banded Weavile. Choice Banded beat up Weavile. This is gonna hurt. There's no switch in. Oh, this is big. Choice Banded beat up Weavile. There's no switch in. You probably... What do you do? Right? You have to lose one Pokemon. Like, you have to lose one Pokemon. Like, everything dies. Maybe you can try... One idea is you can go to your own Weavile and try to win the speed tie, but realistically, you're going to have to lose a Pokemon right now. So the one drawback is that Choice Banded beat up means you're weak to Stealth Rock. So if Stealth Rock goes up, then Dragapult can cause issues again, like in the previous game. But if Stealth Rocks are not up, this Weavile is a big, big threat. Weavile is a big threat now. You probably have to sacrifice... What do you sacrifice though, right? Everything is important to your team. You could maybe sacrifice Zapdos Galar? I'm not sure that's a good idea though. Yeah, very tough decision. What do you sacrifice right now? Very tough decision. Really big beat up Weavile. There's no fairy type, no fighting type. I mean... Zapdos Galar is a fighting type, but it's not a defensive one, like Buzzwool. Okay, beat up. They are sacrificing Pharaoh. Now you go to Lando. Lando threatens with U-turn, so they should switch out. Gets the Stealth Rock up, predicting the switch. That Stealth Rock is going to be valuable to pressure Weavile. Because it's banded and not heavy duty boots. We're probably gonna see Lando use Toxic on the Lando here. Maybe, right? Another idea could be to go to Zapdos Galar on Lando's Defog, maybe. That could be an idea. And just a reminder beat up is a non contact move, so Iron Barbs does not work on it. Lando would take too much damage. No matter no matter what, something was going to get two hit KO'd. So he tried to go Zapdos Galar on a Defog, but FC goes for Stealth Rock instead. Now he does have a he does have a Choice Banded Brave Bird, 
But the problem is you risk static paralysis, right? If you do it, okay? 40, recoil, no para, which is huge, right? No, no paralysis is huge. Now, what do you do for the Zapdos? Do you, do you go to Lando? Do you go to Weavile on Roost, maybe? Do you go to Dragapult on Roost? What do you do? You go to Weavile on the Roost, right? Yeah. Now you start asking questions, right? Triple Axel is a good move. Do you go to Melmetal on Triple Axel? You do. Do we see a knockoff? We do. Good predict. Predicted the switch to Melmetal. Gets rid of the Assault Vest. I believe Toxapex should counter uh, Melmetal maybe, but it depends on Earthquake or Thunder Punch, all that stuff. So you could go to Toxapex and then pivot to Lando. You could go to Lando immediately. But Toxapex does a good job of switching into Pokemon like Weavile and Melmetal and even Volcanion to an extent. Yeah, but Fairy Peak has to find a way to deal with beat up Weavile. Stealth Rock Up is a very good move because of Weavile. Choice Banded. Also, never underestimate Scarfed Kartana. He goes to Lando. Oh, on Double Iron Bash. He he went Lando because he thought that uh, Melmetal might Earthquake predicting Toxapex, which is why he went to Lando. Good predict from FC to Double Iron Bash into Lando. Now Lando here can Earthquake, it can U-turn, it can do whatever it wants pretty much. But what are you going to do when you can do whatever you want? You probably U-turn, I feel like Lando is going to U-turn now. He U-turns into Toxapex, right? Melmetal, Double Iron Bash. It's not Rocky Helmet. Now, you should be scared of Earthquake, right? Do you go to Lando on Earthquake here? Or do you Scald? The benefit of using Scald right now is if Melmetal gets chipped down, then Weavile can do well, right? Dragapult, good predict. Now, I believe Draco Meteor will one-hit KO Volcanion. I believe, but it could de depend on EV spreads right now. And because Volcanion took Stealth Rock damage, it is very likely to be Choice Specs. And maybe they've revealed that maybe the Melmetal is walled by Toxapex. Maybe it doesn't have Earthquake. Or... Maybe instead of Earthquake, it has Thunder Punch. Who knows, right? It could it could also be Assault Vest Volcanion too. Kind of a tough decision. Do you U-turn? Do you Shadow Ball? Do you Draco? What do you do if you're Fairy Peak right now? You have Dragapult in the game. What do you do with it? He does it. He Draco's Volcanion removed. It was Choice Specs Volcanion. And the best part is you deny entry to Weavile too. I believe Weavile would faint after Stealth Rock even with minus 2 special attack. Now, do you go to maybe Kartana? What, what, what? Yeah, you go to Kartana. We don't know if it's Choice Scarf Kartana or you, is it Sword Dance? What is it, right? Knockoff? That was not very strong. It could be Protective Pads. It could be Choice Scarf. We don't know right now. Scald, no burn, no burn for Fairy Peak. He goes aggressively into Zapdos, doesn't work out. You turn into Weavile probably? No, no, I don't think you go Weavile, do you? Do you, you go to your own Zapdos here, right? You're kind of in trouble. You don't have a switch into Zapdos, right? Do you sacrifice Galar for chip damage? If you get chip damage, then maybe Dragapult can do well, right? You turn no static. That was I. I don't know if that was worth it, right? Sixteen percent of damage, but you risk getting hit by static. I suppose it's fine. 
really, but Hurricane probably coming in. No, Volt Switch, okay. Now, this is looking really good for Fairy Peak, I think. Weavile, Dragapult, they all break through. Hurricane knocks out Lando, you always go to Dragapult or Weavile. You go to Dragapult. Shadow Ball is going to pick up a KO. You can't really stop Shadow Ball from knocking something out right now. Yeah, you can't stop Dragapult. You can try to Hurricane for damage and then let Zapdos die. Okay, Weavile, does it live? This is a chance to KO. Ooh, 37. It lives on one. Uh, Toxapex is an easy switch in. Do you predict, like, do you gamble on Ice Shard right now? Do you gamble on Ice Shard? I don't think you do. I think you always go to Toxapex. No need to gamble, right? No need to gamble, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel the need to gamble. Go to Toxapex. Don't risk Dragapult on Ice Shard, right? Don't risk Dragapult on Ice Shard. He did it. He did it. He made the predict. He made the predict. Weavile's gone. Now, Kartana looks like it's Choice Scarf, so you do have to be careful about that. He made the predict. Toxapex should wall Kartana. Yeah, that's no damage. Scald incoming. It's... I'm, I'm going to jinx it, but it's, it's looking very, very good for France right now. It's looking really good right now. Scald, no burn. But you can always go to Zapdos for Galar, I think. It's looking very good right now. Yeah, going to Zapdos, Galar, that's the right idea. Brave Bird coming in. Close combat to knocks out Lando. Zapdos comes in, but it doesn't matter, does it? You have to be really careful not choking to Kartana. You have to be careful about Choice Scarf Kartana. 43. Volt Switch, okay. I thought you might Roost Stall, okay. Mel Metal comes in now. You have to be careful about not losing to... I believe Dragapult Flamethrower should win the game from here on out, right? Dragapult Flamethrower might be able to win. Knock out Melmetal. You probably knock out Zapdos too at 41, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe not, no. Okay, you do go to Dragapult. I feel like it should be Flamethrower. Like, what else are you- Shadow Ball, Draco Meteor, U-Turn, and then Flamethrower, right? This should be Flamethrower to knock out Zapdos or anything, right? It is Heavy Duty Boots, Zapdos. Yeah, Flamethrower coming in. You have to sacrifice Zapdos probably, yeah. 39, burn, insult to injury. Now you go to Kartana, and I believe, doesn't Toxapex beat the remaining two Pokemon on its own, right? You have to be really careful about choking to Leaf Blade. You have to be really careful about choking. Choke? Is that a choke? That's a choke, isn't it? Yeah, that a choke. Oh, game might not be over. Ooh, okay. Oh no, this is a choke, isn't it? Yeah. He had to stay in there. 
Oh, no, 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 he choked. Ooh, they were... They could taste the championship. They almost had it. They almost had it. That means we do have a game 8. It is not over right now. 